Searson's always an interesting topic of conversation. Krimbo, obviously plenty of things to say about him. I think too, you go over to the Navi side, I'm excited to watch Wonderful. I love watching Wonderful. Yeah. I think he's a fun offer in the game right now. JL next to him having his impact. There's still some danger. Remember the talk from, from Navi after winning the major as well was like, yeah, we're on this path and we didn't expect this win to happen so soon. You know, JL, I had an interview with him and he kind of said, we're operating at like 50%. Like there's still room for Oh wait, for they could have gone 100? That, that's, well, we're waiting for that. It's, that's what we're waiting tough. for. Well, Tabson, he's waiting for this push through red. Multiple Navi players coming towards him. Tabson manages one against Alexi B, but is effectively traded by Wonderful. And they're actually going to go in towards the B bomb side by this red push, or at least signaling they might want to do that. About to get pinched from Bit. He's coming up the ramp as well. So they got to get these kills in process with a double. Yeah, lovely double with those Joel Barretas. No, you mentioned Bit. Well, he's in the middle of the bomb site already. Oh, if it goes silent long enough, perhaps Bit could be the playmaker to unlock this round once again for Navi, but he is getting flanked now too. They're coming through Cave and will soon join this attack, and Bit going forward. Process is Joel Paredes waiting around the corner, and Bit goes into that fight. Process able to react, but unable to take him down. And now they actually have a chance to perhaps go back into that A play because they jump the gun. They give the information about the big flank, so they can actually leave one in red and put that bomb down inside of the A side if they desire, or they can hit the brakes completely because there's a lot of time left, Jason. Yeah, this this gets in. What a weird pistol on this has turned into with, with the reposition from Krimbo and Searson going for that flank and then Navi not pressing the issue to the A bomb site. So the defenders are split, but Navi don't really have a good grasp of where exactly they are. You're going to assume one's Donut, right? Had to have heard those footsteps over in mid. 30 seconds, there's the bomb starting to get planted. That'll be information now passed on, confirmed. We should see Krimbo leave his spot in cave and come back through middle. So it is going to be some extra time here for Navi to position the last two players and perfectly play post plants. JL a bit, one out towards A main, one towards CT. Sirius and Krimbo do not have a kit in their possession, nor any utility. They've got to do it on headshots and they have to draw the big players of Navi into the fights. And that defuse is tapped. It's not the stick just yet. And that time is starting to tick on. Bit goes for the peak, using his teammate as a distraction. And now Krimbo running into a CT spawn. There's not enough time to win this for the Germans. And Navi have somehow pulled this one back, despite having a little bit of a mess outside of the B bomb site. They just they did just enough to keep that wet round like doable, right? I mean, like they, their kind of plans for the most part got stopped and they find a solution at the end of the day good time for bit to make his push to clear out behind cube and then bail out with the bomb impressive stuff from navi good trades all the way through and one nothing here on ancient second round by coming in for big we got a famas picked up sold back picked up an mp9 for the extra utility five sevens and deagles to flesh things out i'm unseen Many teams today have success, at least here on the A stream, with these second round forces on the CT side. Alexi B charging over the B lane, gets caught by flashbang. In fact, everybody's blinded. JL makes the most of that. And he gets a double onto Process and Tabson. He'll not stop, though, as he goes forward a third kill in this round for JL. And here comes Searson. Did he just see enough? He did, but he's run out of ammo. And so Searson hunts him down into the corner, but effective trading from Wonderful this time. It's Krimbo left in 1v3. And uh, Navi have enough time to consider many an option. And should not really be just charging right into Krimbo. Should be securing a second round in a row here for Navi. Now they have good control though. Krimbo might be able to get this kill onto Ima. Half HP, a little bit of an off angle in towards Cave. Yeah, he's, yeah that's a big but, problem with that MP9. You could rapidly melt Ima. Oh yeah, but can you do anything after it? They're already in the bomb site. Now they know you. You're locked in as well. They do have just one flashbang. So no Molotov to hold him back. He has back. an incendiary. He can delay or damage the opponent. The bomb plant will come through. And now there is a timer on the play for Krimbo. He doesn't delay or damage with, yeah. that, with that Molotov. Somehow nothing. <laughs> in fact, Krimbo coming forward into the fight and finally dropped by Bit. So it is two in a row here for Nalvi. Yep, nicely done. They'll be fine taking three losses with the round win. And Big is going to have to sit back on... On some lower pistols. Searson saving for the AWP per usual. Navi coming in with their fresh jerseys. Interesting seeing Navi in something different than the black and yellow. Yeah. Looks like funky. Looks like a disco party. And this is about to be a party for Navi in this round because Big have only got USPs. And they go for the obliteration tactic and elbow. Doesn't quite work out. Now there's a chance to mow everybody down in mid. <laughs> Alexi showing up late to the disco with a Mac-10. He's like, I want to get involved, and all the kills are gone. Yeah, probably would have been nice for him to actually get those kills with the Mac-10. A lot of money left on the table.
three nothing. Up in the hands of Searson for this round. Oh, Searson back. I got to cast him in a, an online tournament. How was somewhat it? recently? Yeah. Yeah, he looked pretty okay. I think it was too early for for Big to really show us what they've got. Uh, JDC was very hot and cold. And he has some really good maps and some very very quiet maps. But overall, it was uh, exciting to see this version of Big. JDC burning inside of mid. Oh, he'll hold down the spray. If he continued to do so, he would have got a second kill out of that, but it's just the one. And that second damage is unconfirmed, so Wonderful will back away from Elbow with 26 health. JL extending out of main. This could be a powerful position. Searson just seeing enough of Bit connects that shot. Damn. JL and Alexi B make their way through, and in fact, JL is into Donut, so JDC, if he loses this fight, well, Big are over, but it's a big headshot, and that keeps him in it. The boost over the top here, Navi, not a comfortable position because both of these remaining players are very low on health, Jason. Yeah, they got no HP. There, there's nothing you can really do here, so Bit's going to back off with a bomb, hoping Wonderful can be a distraction and keep players pulled and attention focused on this site. Boosts it up, maybe he gets one more cheeky kill. Here's a footstep over in Temple, and Searson is ready for that exact position. So Bit now with three health in a 1v3. And three kills, So and three letters. You know, there's so many threes here, Jason. Power it's all, three. It's all adding up. AK-47 collected for Bit instead with 30 seconds left, so he's just gonna stay put, he would imagine. And that will be big collecting their first round win. Yeah, he's got plenty of money. Team's going to buy in the next one. He can replenish utility and keep plenty in the bank as well. No motivation for big to hunt as they still want to establish their economy. I'm, uh, that that mid-engagement is a little bit interesting. That was JDC pushing down out of the Molotov blinded, and Ima somehow didn't get all the way out of the smoke, it looked like. He might have gotten a little bit blinded as well by some of those flashes, but that looked like it was going to be a JDC death all day long. Right here. See that again. Yeah, like maybe that last flashbang caught him, but it seemed like he was he was fine, just not all the way out of the smoke, and something just something just went screwy. Yeah. Let's see if he'll have to shake that one off. So a timeout already here to have Blade on the mic. This wouldn't be anything tactical, I don't think. This might be comms. Although, actually, I don't know. The hand gestures make it look a little tactical. You go it here, is also you go blade, there. So, yep. always a little tactic sprinkled in there. Maybe seeing something that could progress into a bigger problem if it's not addressed now. He's talking straight to Alexi. Sure, would have fueled this team with trust in one another, winning in a major championship. You know, especially because it was unexpected the fact that you're able to accomplish that shows you that there, there is that capability of winning the biggest prize in counter-strike so you, you trust your teammates perhaps that much more across the board but that can quickly start to fall apart again if you have some negative results and event, events following the major well, jdc back to his mid aggression Looking to try and climb up heaven, but good utility from Na'Vi. That's preventing it from happening fast into the round, but he still goes for it. This time with a flash assist from Tabs, and Alexi B will fall. Searson with an advanced angle with the AWP. Doesn't see anybody peeking into his crosshair just saw, yet. Saw a shadow, though, a glimmer of a shadow. Oh. So he knows one was in there. Molotov tick gives away a position over towards mid as well behind the smoke. Him also did damage to Krimbo on that retreat, so he's lost half of his health here, Krimbo. All right, Na'Vi's lost the early engagement back-to-back -back rounds now. Yeah, they lost a lot of map control here, too, because that B lane is about to be cleared out by Big. So clearing these close corners, once they clear the cutout, they'll realize there's no one around B lane from Na'Vi. Well, not yet, but they're coming. That smoke, when it when it fades, wonderful Bit and JL going to try and put some things together, some flashes, some utility to clear this out. You're going to have to use a lot of util just to get out of those B doors. It must have a look. Maybe you can catch out. JDC up towards heaven, but the timing actually just works completely against Ima. JDC able to take him out of play. Process unable to sink that first kill on the first time of Askin, but he gets a second Damn. chance. And John DeCastro, well, he cleans up with no issue. That's solid. Some spicy shooting from JDC. Took care of Ima in mid real quick as well. He looked like he caught the perfect timing to get in behind cover because it looked like Ima was about to get the kill on the JDC. 
get to watch it all happen again. And those two headshots at the end. Nice to watch that. All right, Kakafu is getting a little bit more hype. JDC is off to a heater here. Immo once again charging out of elbow straight to his death in the hand of JDC. And now if you're pinned behind the doors of all four players, so yeah, another tough scenario where Big have all the map control right away. Navi don't have the utility to fight this. No, they really don't. Not even the weaponry. You have one AK-47 on JL, but that's not going to clear everything, surely. Process is close up, tucked into the corner. Good crossfire set. Tabs can, Tabson can swing on contact. Process. Here we go. Well, he sprayed a full magazine. No one walked into his... He did his job. He was the bait. He was the bait in that setup. And it worked perfectly. And it worked out nice. Although it does kind of suck being the bait. Yeah, it does. But it's effective. But now Navi have to start thinking about getting some more control of middle press. If they're going to keep running Imma out elbow over and over again, they better have come up with something different because it's not gone so well for him. Perhaps we'll get to see the fruits of the timeout from Blade. I, I would imagine... It, like, Navi would be a team and Blade would be a coach. Like, if, if Big is going to be pushing down mid and pushing down B lane, this will be like one of those rounds where you kind of stall them out. He's going to test it again, and once again, JDC comes out on top. So does Krimbo. That, that's insanely good from Big. Like, the fact that they just have mid control with the first few seconds of every single round, and they've got players able to climb. They're, they're just stopping Navi getting any relevant control of the map at the get-go. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't finish my sentence there. I was thinking Navi's going to play behind the utility, let Big use all of it, wait like 30, 40 seconds, and then kind of start moving forward. Probably would have worked out better for them. Well, you know, you've now tried this a couple of times. It might be time to switch into the different philosophy. Mm, not working out right now for Navi. What a hot start for Navi, but it quickly cools off as Big bring out the guns. I don't think it's a fair representation of how good Big can be on Ancient when you look at the last time these guys played on this map. And the more time that this roster's had together, you would imagine the more comfortable JDC is going to get within the squad and within his role inside of mid. And he's clearly showing that right now, 11 and 3. He's been a beast. Nothing's gotten past him in mid. Navi really only have the pistol round to be happy about. A little bit of frustration on the Navi side, so Blade... Second timeout. Yeah. I mean, you, you, if we can tell that something's not working really well, that this is looking a little flat, lackluster, whatever word you want to use, you can you can imagine Blade can definitely see it. Yeah, he's got the front row seat. And uh, update from that B stream earlier on, you may have been following the 9Z Mao's action. Mal is one of the favorites, or the favorite, coming into the event. Has lost their opening game against 9Z. Sets up that 9Z Liquid match for a spot in the playoffs. Liquid will be loving that idea. And Process looks to defend this B rush. Navi throwing everything they've got in to try and overwhelm this B site. Tabson does well to get one and then drop back into the cover of Cave. There could be a plant here for Alexi B, and there certainly will be, but can he get away? The answer is no, because Tabson and Krimbo crunch Onto the post plan. He's now just wonderful with 1v4 ahead of him. Yeah, but plant's done. And the if Tech I 9 might get a kill on JDC, but yeah, the yeah. round's already done. I was going to say, maybe if JDC pushes, you get that kill, you bail out with the AK, just get a free rifle out of the situation. But Big's looking good. Five straight for this defense. And we haven't even had to really talk about the Searson Op a whole lot. He's on two kills. It's been all done with rifles by JDC. Business is being handled in mid. It's being handled in B lane as well. Navi have no answers at the moment. And they've already used two of three timeouts. So better start working right now. All right, so that last round, you get a bomb plant. That's good for Navi. It gives them an injection of extra cash into this round. They'll have all the utility. They want everybody on their weapon of choice. And this time, Ima is not going to try and fight or challenge JDC. He's just trying to prevent and delay <laughs> it doesn't that matter. jump up. But yeah, you try and dodge them. You try and hide from them, and the nades will find you. Alexi B is down first. Taps and swings into the fight. Wins it this time against JL and walks away. His big grab two kills off the get-go again. This is going to be so frustrating for the Navi camp. There's nothing you can do 
And finally, a kill goes back the other way. It's even better from Imma. This time he will best his opponent, JDC in mid. Seriously stays around that B ramp and to great effect because Bit is caught at the double door. Well, Tapson's going to try and handle this. Here's Seriously the Molotov tick. He's looking for the push. Oh, that didn't need to happen. You know, Big opens up this round really strong. And ever since then, they've, did, they've done everything they can to give Na'Vi a path back into the round. These peaks, they've been so desperate and aggressive to clear out this B lane that it's bit them in the ass. Yeah, Krumbo gets into position just at that. And Jaguar spot. Wonderful's thinking, I just need to stay alive. Because Emo's on the flank. Yeah, and I mean, his position has been so compromised, but he gets away with the bomb, and now Emma cuts off rotations. Wonderful, if he just backs off and basically sprints to the A bomb site, they, they've, got, they've got a W. Time is the problem, though. 30 seconds. Yeah, it's too late now. Now they have to... Oh, what? A little nervous energy here. And they actually are going for the, the A play. They think, well, he's got the bomb out. So surely he's just gone towards the A site. So <laughs> Big have just given him the entire B bomb site for free. I don't say this often, but this is this this round has been thrown by Big. Yeah. Which is given away. I think they probably will. When that bomb goes down, it's, you might... It's a five on three, and there's a push down... Look how much money they've got as well. It's a five on three. There's a push down B ramp from Prosis. And then they just commit so hard to try and clear Wonderful out. Ema finds a lurk in mid. And then you shoot your teammate in the back of the helmet. <laughs> Here you go, Searson. Have a head full of lead. Ema's position inside of cave is very potent. Should work out quite effectively, at least for one kill here. Uh, dare I say that, but a little... How dare you. Prematurely, Emma goes down. Now, Wonderful's the side of the side. Kill, kill on Searson. Can Crimbo make up for it with a clutch? No. Wonderful will sink it. And Na'Vi absolutely needed to collect that one. Whether or not it was provided by Big... Uh, yeah, it's up. Yeah, they, it was provided by Big. That round started so good, it just got so sloppy for, for no no good reason on the, on the side of Big. <laughs> now that... <laughs> <laughs> That's content. That's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> I don't think Kakafu found that as funny as JVC did. Yeah. Like, he turns around and looks No, don't. <laughs> he was ready. He's ready to celebrate. All right. Well, let's forget about that one, boys. Back to it. Searson. This time with 100 health and none of his teammates shooting him in the back of the head. He's looking for that kill down ramp. Alexi B has to sit back once again. He's dead within the first few seconds of the round. Bit to trade on to Tabson. Numbers even thanks to that engagement. A good, good peek from JL. Not exactly the greatest positioning from the opera of Searson. Stays in the open and gives that fight to JL. And Imma, he wants the revenge against JDC, Ooh, but he's push. not getting it. He's making a lot of noise. Bit should have this every day of the week. A little too much from Krimbo. They thought Ima would just be lurking solo again, but Bit was coming back Look to join JDC. up with him. He's still going aggressive. Bit has the bomb, and so JDC wants it, but he walks right into Bit. And he'll just chomp him right up. It's process left at Cave alone, and, and Bigger offering up Na'Vi ways back into this game. That's two rounds in a row now from Na'Vi. And the scoreline is evened out at five apiece. Damn, I, that five-round streak from Big had to have them feeling so confident because they thirsty right now. They, 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 they are really thirsty. <laughs> they are going for everything. And I mean, I, I know we talked about on the podcast, the desk kind of mentioned it as well, that removal of Gavi, like the implications of what would be the thought process of wanting to do a coaching change and providing a little bit more freedom to especially some of the younger players who probably want to play a little bit looser. You're going to lose out on some discipline, you know, in that yeah. kind of a style as well. And I think that's kind of what we've seen these last two rounds. A lack of discipline from Big, even in advantage situations. Especially because... La oh, here we go. Bit right out middle. Gets one for one. Especially because the last time I seen God B, he was walking around their boot camp with a big stick. I'm sure that helped with discipline. Well, Teddy Roosevelt up in this. <laughs> Keeps him in line. All right, this is much better from Big. 4v2 established. Lexi B finally left alone at the end of a round, but is taken out quite swiftly. And Big will respond. Six rounds collected into the lead by one. So we head into this last round of the first half. Navi looking to tie things up. Got the money to do so. It will be a buy round for the final round of half one here in Ancient. It's been pretty high octane at the start of these rounds. Like every round is being yeah. mid fight. Yeah, we we kind of talked about like maybe Navi slowing it down and playing behind the utility for a little bit, and that's that's never really come to fruition. But I mean, look, they still got five rounds on the board. T side ancient, that ain't bad. Benefit of winning the pistol. JDC again. 
Up towards the ledge, smokes it off, wants to go for a peek. Miss smoke. Miss smoke towards cave. It's landed up on top. A little boost for Wonderful. Give him a better sight line down long. Process intermittently peeking for information on ramp, but here comes a likes to be around that corner, taps and good for one. Process had to step up in his stead and must do so now against two players who are charging down his bomb site. Bit already by JDC tracking that and Bit still turns back quick enough for that headshot. Process making these trades happen. Searson inside of elbow drops Imma and Wonderful is thrust into the clutch. It will be a 1v3 in total. But only two opponents slime way. I feel like Ima's mid lurks are so readable in this game. I yeah. feel like he's taken that exact fight like you can six see this or seven fully times. Fully committed to watching for it. And fair play. It's usually been against JDC. This time it was Searson with the AWP. But I mean, that's obviously something big has, has made note of. Well, perhaps we will see a clutch delivered to Mr. Wonderful. Smoke onto the bomb, giving away Searson's position. Wonderful will scope up, dodges that flashbang. Here comes Searson's peak. Wonderful strikes in for that shot. Looking to close to half of a tie. Defuse being stuck. He goes to the rifle, and Wonderful will pull off the clutch. It's six to six. Navi and Big. It's a tight game.
Navi and Big neck and neck tied up at six heading into the second half. Navi switches over to the defense. They found just enough solutions to kind of dig themselves out of a hole. Big was really piling on them. We move into the second half and see if Navi as favorites can close this out and take a win to start IEM Dallas 2024. Excited to see how the Navi CT side is going to look. It was uh, very much aggression in middle for a big CT side, one that Navi couldn't quite find the answer to. Now, this pistol will start off with Imma and Wonderful on Jewel Paredes. Everybody else on Navi with a USP. And Tabson carrying a whole bucket of utility here. A bucket. A big old bucket. Five gallon bucket. What's a gallon, Jason? Uh, I don't know. It's a lot. It is. A lot of, what do you guys use, liters? Yep. So and milliliters. Get, you get a liter of milk? Yeah. You get two liters usually. A liter of cola. Oh, yeah. Wonderful with the dualies. Uh, liter of blood spilled on the floor thanks to Joel Perretti's second liter in. It's Crimbo gone and now three players still standing here for big. The last pistol round was pretty exciting. It was all over the place. Let's see if this one can follow suit. Navi won the pistol in the first half. To win both pistols would be a huge step in the right direction for Navi. But Big are going to get out of there. They found a bit of a gap. They think they can drop back into middle and potentially hit in towards this A bomb site. But if they do go through Donut into this A side, they will have to deal with Bit in particular. He's playing from Brokey, and Alexi B has a pretty quick rotation over as well. But he's got to worry about this flank from JDC, who has actually timed that to absolute perfection. He hears those players running down towards the site from Red, and JDC cuts them all open. It's bit life with nothing to do. JDC just massacres them. Bro. I thought he was about to get flattened. He's having himself a game, and he was in that lurk position for quite some time, being patient biding his time and picking the perfect moment. Even JL with low HP is just swinging so he can give up the position so his teammates can trade it. This is so filthy. One goes down, Ima can't handle it. Wonderful, gets a shock as well to the dome. And that's seven to six. That was uh, 3.7851 liters worth of kills right there, Jason. Yeah, one gallon is 3.7 liters. That's what I got for you. <laughs> it's, it didn't really seem all that important after the round from JDC, <laughs> to be honest with you. But, you know, then I, was... I, look, then I looked at the USP. I was like, all right, maybe the people at home want to know. And this round, yeah, it's quick. It's nice and easy. And uh, that's it. another round for big. So, I'll be suffering the pistol loss. means they have to take on Eco, but they're right back to the buy. So, they're going to have the M4s out all across the board, and a decent amount of utility around it too. Could be considered a bit of a bonus here for Big, considering they got the MAC-10 and Galil still out. Yeah, well, there's three players without head armor, so I mean, those, those weapons can, uh, can still pack a punch. They find the right targets. Heads can disappear quick. Mid-smoke. Deep utility from the CT side. It'll be Ema to defend as he spent the entire first half attacking into it. He's got his old mate JDC on the other side of things, but man, you might want to give him some time to cool off before you take any engagements. Far more passive in the mid defense for Navi than it was for Big. A lot less utility as well, right? So probably can't force their way towards elbow and JDC oh, he's kind of unplayable at the moment he's coming out of elbow now sending bullets through that red smoke strong positioning here for big already JDC decides he doesn't want to keep pushing the issue towards donuts they're going to climb up heaven under a minute left is big certainly setting up for what is going to be a B plight and Emma looking to gather that information pushing through mid Needs to take a bit of a risk here and walk dry. He might actually be able to activate a quick flank if his teammates are strong enough on this hold. And Alexi B, good for one. MP9 lines up to rest. But JDC cuts right through two and Emma's flank has to come to fruition. He gets only one so far, but just him being there is worrying for big. They decide they have to think about the plant instead and prioritize that fact. And Searson getting in towards the bomb site. Here's the peek at long. He doesn't get a single kill, so JDC goes instead. And I thought there was a world in which he was going to get to that. I wouldn't put it past him with the way he's playing, but couldn't quite do it this time. No, it, look, I mean, he did the damage. That connects with the headshot. He's got a very interesting situation. JDC and Wonderful going blow for blow. JDC with 21 kills. Wonderful with 79, 17. 
kills to lead the way for their respective teams. Close but no cigar. As Navi creep a little bit closer, winning the first gun round up to seven. So boots quickly to get Searson ready to fight this long player. Oh, the peak is in, but Searson unable to connect the shot, but Prosis just charging in. And JL able to knock him out of the park. Imma follows, and Navi got two kills. Look at this from JL. The aggression, it works out perfectly to catch the pistols. And JL swiftly makes it clean for Navi. They're tied up again. Yeah, nicely done from Navi as well. Big's trying to kind of press the envelope before they completely have control of the B bomb site. That challenge, but an immediate hold from JL with the FAMAS. Now we're all tied up again. And big, that buy goes nowhere. So they are stuffed back down to sitting around 2K across the board. Snavi should be taking the lead here. Very competitive game between Navi and Big. I know, evenly matched. Remember, Navi had to win some clutch scenarios, and I think we're gifted maybe a couple of rounds there in that first half from Big because they overconfidence off the back of five in a row. Yeah, Big gave him a few rounds back, spotted him a few to help out. Yeah, give, and a, I, give us a show. They haven't had to call a timeout yet, though. They've felt like this is still within their grasp and still within their control, and nothing's. Uh, they're not losing too much ground. So playing a slow one with the unarmored Glocks. Probably having a little conversation about the next buy round. They'll turn in towards Bit, who's playing at the bomb site. He's all alone. And the Glocks shouldn't present too much danger to someone of his caliber. Ooh. Bit. Oh, first few bullets are unclean, but then somehow makes it look supreme. Three kills in from default. Immo there with him. And I thought it was about to be disastrous that <laughs> for a bit, but he's staying he, composed. Yeah, after I said that, I'm glad he got that third yeah. kill and <laughs> brought it all back. Yeah, he, he saved you. He had you in the first half. Thank you, Bit. Nine to eight. I thought Alexi was speaking German. <laughs> <laughs> he gates. There we go. Buys back for big. Four AK 47s, just the one Khalil for Tapson. And no one from Big is thinking about middle. They're actually searching for a lot of their openings towards B ramp. Process in particular is being sent there multiple times now. I think he's I think he's gonna be happy to take it when that smoke is, is kind of that shallow, right? Like you, you can get this position with some safety, wait for it to fade, and again you can pick and choose your oh. timing. That helps too. Molotov with a little spam on top, a oh. little spam in return. What is this? Vertigo? Oh. Like, no one sees anybody. It's just spam damage completely across the board. Searson left on one health, but big moving into this upper bomb site. Going into the attack, but JL, you thought he might have been able to get a second out of that, but it's just the single kill from JL. And so we're in a 3v3 post plan. Yeah, except Alexi's cut off from the action. Deep smoke as well towards CT box. This is a little awkward for Navi on the retake. Emo and Wonderful have completely backed away, and I'm curious if this will be a save call. Are they going to actually try and wrap around? So they've shown presence behind the smoke at box. It has to be a, so quick. Yeah, it really does. And Prosis, he's not looking deep enough to catch this early, but oh god, the yeah, they're, call, they're calling yeah. it off. They're calling it off. Yeah, that's an awkward ground. That, that's all over the place. A lot of spam battles. Alexi B hangs around to try and make it expensive with that Galil on the way out the door. Wonderful. Nice shot to drop process on the way out, but big regardless, keep this a tight game. Once again, it is nine to nine. Very good. Spam never goes bad, Dinko. Spam never goes bad because it starts bad, Jason. It's, you know, I used to think that. I used to be a spam hater. What, what made you a, a non-spam hater? Well, uh, well, give me one recipe that might change my life. All right, it's called a pude jjigae. A what? It's called army stew. It's, it's army a, stew. It's a Korean okay. dish. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, maybe some I'll broth, save that. some noodles, some kimchi in there, spam, hot dog chunks. It's lovely. All right, I'll save that for the end of the world. Little cheese on top. Yeah, I'll stock up the bunker with that. That is probably the, one of the best meals to have when if there is like an apocalypse. Oh it's yeah. Just having like a Comes in those great container cans. full of spam. Yeah. There is something weird about cutting into it, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but sw Swedish people love Spam. I was there one time in the catering. Give it, a, give it a shot next time. Mashed Nico. potatoes and Spam. Next time you see Spam, you give that bad boy a shot. All right, 
for you, Jason. I had a, I had gravy biscuit for breakfast this morning. Oh, true, true Southern experience. Yeah, it's beautiful. Loved it. Here we Feel go. it clogging your arteries as you can. Yeah, definitely. It's solidifying as we speak. And bit stops JDC from getting out middle. Doesn't look like he's going to have the same kind of success he had on the CT side here in mid. And Krimbo sends himself out. Bit wasn't ready for that. Emma had to trade it. Oh, gets away with a second. You thought Emma was dead to rights. And he gets back to Donut. And it's a 4v2. Yeah, and Searson walks right into the op. A little bait and switch. He thinks he's chasing down a rifle. Oh, they got past Alexi here, Taps. And oh, here we go. Nope. Nope. He, he did just not. did not see him. That's a weird timing, and JL will not expect that. Because no. mid was called clear. Alexi said nobody double doors. So there's no reason for JL to be concerned about Cave. But again, it's like, even. Well, JL's oh, he's pushing, so ramp. it's kind okay. of out of danger. But even if you were to get that kill, it's like, what's Tabson supposed to do from here? Yeah, it's not like he's going to be a given position to get the four kills you need. But as soon as he taps that bomb, now they know he's in the site. JL comes back up in his perfect positioning. Whether or not he knew it was going to be the right decision. I think I just heard Alexi say, I knew it. I knew he came through the smoke. Somebody oh, said okay. it. Or maybe it was JL who said it. So, like, someone had, an, like, a feeling. An inkling. A, a spidey sense. sense. Yeah. Alexi, Paul Atreides, and Spider-Man. All in one. By the way, Jason, I haven't spoke to you since you, uh... That kind of performance, and I have to say, Baron Harkonnen, that was incredible. It's one of my proudest moments. Uh, I wonder what was in the water. That had to be disgusting. Uh, eight bath bombs of different colors. Okay. Um, like half a thing of decaffeinated instant coffee. God. Uh, and then like some German mud bath powder. How did your skin feel after? You feel like it I was? I felt great the next yeah? day. All right, try that skin, one at home, guys. Skin felt lovely. I was in that bathtub for about two hours for three total seconds of footage in the trailer. It bath bombs, decaffeinated coffee, and what was the other thing? Uh, some German mud bath. A German mud bath. That's what you need for clear, beautiful skin. <laughs> Could maybe do it less, but eight worked. Just uh, throwing that out there. Try even more, but here's wonderful. Stepping out into the open, in behind the big box. Now, this is a great position for the AWP. Should at least get one. Could be a little boost. You would have to deal with that. Might make things slightly uncomfortable. But big are biding their time. Eventually, they will try and run in and get a plant on this A site. I mean, you're probably not going to win the first engagements, and there's no utility to keep Shadow. this off from constantly repeaking. Yeah, there's a nice shot, and you also got Ima holding the line. That off will be recovered. Actually, not bad whatsoever. Two kills from the Deagle of Crimbo. Not able to get enough success to find their way close to the site, and Navi have a two round lead. Timeout from Big. Second one used as Kakafu opens up his mic. Blade gets the chance as well. And despite using two timeouts early for Navi, they've got one remaining still. They haven't had to burn that third one as they've taken control of the map. Did you just say got beat? No, that's just you. That's just you missing him, Jason. Is that, that's is that like, just me? Yeah, that's just you. I was like, maybe they named a strat after God B and he's calling. That me. would be pretty funny. That'd be so. Uh, funny. If you were God B watching from home, you're the biggest Navi fan ever. <laughs> or if you were, I if think, you were a Kakafu inside yeah. your, your headphones and they're calling a God B strat, you're like, God oh, damn it. I wonder if God B's wearing a Navi jersey right now, you know, the sofa, you know? He's just you look, if, looking if, on. If, if my boy God's watching, turn it off, baby. Give yourself some time. Yeah. He'll be back. There's no, there's no winning in that situation. Either the team wins without you and you feel like absolute crap, or the team loses and you feel like crap because you like the guys, you work for them. Yeah, you, you could have been there to get the win. Time ticking on, big established B-lane control. Searson headbutts the smoke. Just gonna feel that one in the morning. Alexi B is committed very deeply in towards Jag. He's going to take it for a spin. Didn't like the test drives. It ducks out, and so JDC with the headshot on Wonderful. That is the first blood of round 21. Just under a minute left. Bit has found somehow the only spot where the fire hasn't <laughs> spread to. 
<laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, but I, like, the, it's not gonna. At the end of the day, even if they were to go, like that Molotov was a little bit early for any kind of a pound, so sure. it's not like that was gonna be unexpected. They'd still clear that position. Emma's got an op. That's the only. That's the weapon for the job. He's not getting a multi kill here. So this is one and dead. Oh, oh, they, they nearly collateral. Up. That would have been absolutely perfect. But he does get a multi kill. Emma shuts three down and shuts me up because this guy's got a multi in the locker. He might just stop everybody from entering this A-bomb site because now Crimbo looks to cross and Emma shows what he's got on the sniper. From a disastrous first half to a clinical second, Emma pushes Navi to map point. Maybe he was an opper all along. This is the, yeah, he's the Romanian Maybe, sniper. Bro, when did he get 20 kills? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's actually, he's tied up. He's tied up with uh, Wonderful now. Yeah, and he's, uh, this is a disgusting little form that he's found after after yeah that tough T side against JDC who had a hot hand. This CT side has been wonderful. Quad kill on the off. <laughs> JDL's like what? <laughs> Alexi is like all right. All right, Emma. Hell yeah, maybe we'll give you the op a few a few more times. Get a little confidence under his belt after the quad kill. All right, process. He's been trying this over and over again. He goes through the B smoke. No, he doesn't actually. He stays behind it. We have flash caught him. He's hanging around behind it. And oh my goodness, B! He has got some laser scanner onto two. It is now just Crimbo left. And Navi will take down B today. Crimbo's left on nine health. And this is a hell of a recovery in the second half. Much better on the CT side from Navi. Bit touch and go in that first. Navi come to play in the second. Yeah, they encountered some struggles, right? We know the T side can be very difficult on this map, but uh, Big not able to put a, more than one gun round on the board. They only win round 18, and that, that's about it. Win the pistol in the next round, but gun rounds have been all Navi. Helped, obviously, in part by Ima's massive leap in performance between first half to second half. The halftime break did him wonders. And Navi, 13-9, take their first win in Dallas as high fives come all around. Yeah, day one in Dallas looks good here for Na'Vi. Ancient once again against Big is in the pockets of Nardis Vincere. And for Big, it is going to be a journey. It's going to be a path forward, one without God B, and one with a new look squad. And so far,